Hi guys, uh, this is Ravindra Reddy. Welcome to Trending Technologies. Now I'm going to talk about the second video that is the Quarkus, how we can load the properties in the application. Like in Spring Boot, uh, we have a different ways of loading the properties. Either we can write a custom configuration and load the properties or even directly we can load from the Java application and uh, there are some annotation like uh, at the rate value and we can load the properties. So similarly, we can load the properties in the Quarkus by using the Quarkus application. So let me show you that. It's very simple. Uh, there are different ways we can load the properties. So let me show you directly practical. I'm going to create a new application to load the properties for with the Quarkus application. So I'm going to create a new project. So we need to choose the project as the Quarkus. And just give the group. And I'm going to give the artifact. That's nothing but uh, the generated artifact that may be jar or var. So here I'm going to give the Quarkus properties loader. So I'm going to give the class name as uh, com dot trending tech. That's a package. So the resource I'm going to give as the uh, property loader resource. And then so just click on next and here give the project name. So I give the project as Quarkus properties loader and then click on finish. So I'm going to open a new window. Let me close this. So first I will define a port because uh, I may have 808 port uh, 8080 is already running. Quarkus dot HTTP dot port. So I'll make it as 8083. So now let's go to the Java application and how we can load the properties. So instead of returning this hello, so I'm going to load my own property. So which I'm going to add it in my application dot properties. Let's say here, I have something like uh, app.name. So this is my custom property. So this application name, I will specify as the Quarkus property loader and I want to load this particular property. So here we can, uh, there are a different ways to load it. So let's say here private string name. Otherwise you can say it's app name. So I just want to load the app name which is there in my application.property file. So here we have an annotation called config uh, property and then uh, you can give the uh, property name so which property that you are trying to load so i'm trying to load the property as the app.name so here you can just print it so what is the application name that uh, so we are getting from the application.property file so here we are trying to use the uh, quarkus properties so it's basically it uses the micro profile uh, configuration properties. So now I'm going to run my application. So since there are some issues with the test cases, I'm going to remove it for now. So we will talk about the uh, unit test cases later. So I'm going to run the Marvin Robber clean install and Quarkus dev. So since I don't have permissions, I have to change the permissions every time. Sudo change mode, recursively I'm going to change everything. So now I'm going to run my application. Let's see what is the response that we get. 
and there are many other ways so we can load the properties we will see one by one now okay so now the application is started and it is running on port 8083 now let's verify whether it is working or not so it is running on 8083 see here we are getting the property value which is which we defined in the application dot properties so this is one way of loading the properties and there are many other ways let's discuss on that so let's say i have something uh, uh, you know there is a property which i defined in my application dot properties if i want to load it or let's say i want to make it as some default value here so then you can define the default value meaning so if you don't define any property value then it uh, by default it picks this value so you can say here something like uh, uh, you know some default value let's say so instead of this we will give something else okay so here i'll make it as the trending technologies so this is my default value so here i'll make it as the app dot message msc and uh, so here i'll make it as the message now let's create uh, a few more properties private string let's say name so define the property and name equal to app dot name okay and i'm going to define one more property so here this particular property if the values not exist in the application dot properties then it will throw the exception and we have there is a one more uh, uh, property private string let's say optional value so here i'm going to write a config property and name equal to so app dot optional so it should be the java 8 optional okay so now let's fix this so here i want to load some uh, property value so how are we going to load it so here it is going to be uh, something like a name and then give some space and then message again give some space and then optional value okay so this is how we write it so here double quote is missing yeah so now this is the java 8 util okay so here we are doing th three things so the first one is the default value if the value is not exist in the application dot properties then it uh, prints the default uh, the value and the second one so it is a mandatory if the value is not there then it will throw the exception third one so i made it as a optional it is the java 8 feature so let's let's say if the value is not there then it will not throw the any exception so this is what i'm going to do now so let's say i won't uh, define anything app dot message because uh, so here i already defined it and then i'll make it as uh, application dot name let's say hello so it is hanging so just a second so now let's define the app dot optional so if you want to print this value then you have to say here get okay something now come to the properties now 
you no need to uh, restart your server because uh, Quarkus is having the auto reloader functionality. So just go the, uh, go to the browser and uh, verify whether you are getting the expected response or not. You can see here. So the response, whatever that we made the changes in our application, we are getting the response. Hello is nothing but the application dot name that I'm printing it. Uh, getting from the application that property file and the trending technologies which i defined as the default value and this is the optional value 